Okay, so Hi. we've decided that we're going to um, do some different um, finishing effects on each of the colours. Um, and we're going to start off with some decoupage. Hi, this is Angela. And this is Rachel. And together right. we are Two, two Tall Ladies! ladies. So before we actually start, I just want to talk you through because there are a million different ways of doing decoupage and there's a huge array of um, decoupage mediums, glues um, to actually um, stick your subject matter down with. So for today, we are going to use the napkin. I'm on the phone. Is that me? Oh, shall we just backtrack a bit? So for today, we are going to use a, a napkin. So I'm going to show you one of the techniques um, for using napkins. So if you've got, if you're going to use a small image, then it's one technique. This image is just bordering on to a large image. So I'm going to show you the um, the technique for large imaging decoupage. So what Rachel is doing now is she's chosen an image and she's actually tearing around the edge. So if you were to cut around the edge, you would always be able to see a jagged edge around your image on your item and it would you'd, you'd be able to see it. When the light caught it, you'd be able to see that. But if you tear around it, what happens is it frays all the edges and then they blur and disappear. So you, uh, you have a nice it flat... Blends in. Uh, yeah, it's all blended in. Mm -hmm. It's a nice flat finish. So you carry on with that, Thank Rachel. You. And while Rachel's doing that, I want to talk to you about some of the, um, the glues um, for decoupage. So um, think about what it is that you want to achieve and what, what paint you've used it on. So we're using it on a matte finish. So ideally we want to use a matte gel or a matte medium to um, to glue it down and to put the top coat on so that it, it just disappears completely. Uh, so some people use um, PVA. PVA is one of the shiniest subs substances. It dries really shiny. So you're always gonna be able to see a shine just over your image and any, any way you catch outside of your image, it will be shiny. So we don't use that. Um, Mod Podge do quite a range um, and you can get matte or shiny or satin. Um, most of these items we buy from Amazon. We never leave the house, we just buy everything on Amazon. Amazon Prime. We never have to go anywhere on <laughs> Amazon Prime. You get it the next day, it's great. So we, we've we tried Mod Podge. It's not our favorite um, because it's quite runny and it does tend to tear your images. So if you're doing a large image um, decoupage, Mod Podge isn't the, the best substance for me. Um, this medium, this Liquitex, um, is more for, it works better for image transfer. So we're gonna save that and use that another day. But you can use it for decoupage as well. And again, I bought a matte one. My absolute favorite go-to product for decoupage is this um, all-round matte decoupage. And you can buy this on Amazon. And it's twenty pounds for a large bottle like this, but I've had this for such good well value. over a year. Mm. It really is. You can buy it in smaller ones. It's about eight pounds for a smaller um, tub, but a smaller bottle. But it's it's um, best value to buy large. So I've only got a bit left, so I'm going to have to buy some more. Go large. So I'm going to decant it. I can open it. Going to decant some. So while Angela's doing that, I'll show you the image. I've tore all around the edge. And they normally are three ply, so make sure that you get the two off. And just peel it apart like that. That leaves you with a really fine tissue paper. Okay, to so pop on. Yeah, so offer it on place it where you want it to be. So if that was just a small image, again, we would use a, um, another technique, which is really quite simple. But because this is quite large, what we don't want to do is, is add glue onto the top because 
it will stretch um, the tissue paper and it and it if you touch it too much and it gets it too wet break. it will just fall apart mm -hmm. so I'm going to stand up for this I'll join you in a little stand you. so what we're going to do is um, I've got a really nice soft flat brush here these brushes come in packs of three, three different sizes from the works and they're two pounds for three brushes and they're really, really nice mm -hmm. brushes. They're perfect for decoupage. So for this technique, what I'm going to do is remove the image and I'm actually going to glue where we want the image to be. So I'm not going to put too much on, but I'm going to put a nice coating of glue it's going to be slightly larger than the actual image and hopefully it won't wet that paint because that's the one that's still wet um, but what what I'm going to do is we'll be able to wipe off any excess around so then I'm going to get the the peacock and I'm going to really gently place him in the middle first so he's touched down you get one chance at this and then I'm going to get a piece of cling film. Cling film. Here's one we didn't make earlier. <laughs> Once you start decoupaging, you can make a fine cling film in your kitchen drawer yep. for kitchen duties. And we're going to lay so that the over the top. And then we're going to get a brayer. I've got two brayers. This one came from Hobbycraft and it's got a rubber um roller mm -hmm. and it's quite large and it's quite heavy so that's a really good quality one but i also bought this i think we've got this one from the works as well i think it was about two three pounds mm -hmm. this one was about eight pounds fifty yeah, but, but that is the better it one. is the better one so when you want now what you want to do is always start in the middle of your image keep make sure that doesn't move and then always roll from the middle to the edge and use a little bit of pressure, but not too much because you don't want to drag it. You always want to go from the middle out and roller that every way. Make sure it's nice and flat and down so you'll get no air bubbles in that at all. We've rolled all the air out. And then before the glue starts to dry, very, very gently peel back your cling film and there you've got a beautiful image not a bad job there Angela please that <laughs> we'll just check so yeah so all you need to do now is let that dry and then you can give it a top coat a sealing coat and you can actually use this as your top coat as well but what I would normally do is make sure I'd, I'd have a damp cloth and I would just wipe away all of that excess but what I don't want to do is wipe all the no, paint yeah. off so just be careful because you need to make sure that your base coat is properly dry before we use that. Probably should have done it on a different colour, but I think it looks perfect on that, mm. on that shade. Yeah, absolutely. It'd look lovely on the white as well. Yeah, it would do. But a, a real key when you, when you are decoupaging onto colour is if you look at your tissue, um, most of the images are printed on different colour tissues. Mm -hmm. So if, if this was on a white background and you didn't tear closely enough you would have a white border yes, around yeah, it yeah. so if you've got an image that's on a white background then decoupage on a white image yeah but this is perfect because it, the the outside color will blend in yes as well. yeah so that's our colors. first decoupage okay that's lovely that was quite straightforward end of <laughs>